Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have got the new 99 overall Super Bowl MVP Tom Brady on the team and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a pretty late night upload so I would greatly appreciate if you guys would drop a like in the video and comment anything down below because I know uploading this video later in the day probably not going to do as well as if I uploaded earlier it was a pretty busy day but if you guys drop a like in the video comment I'd greatly appreciate that and we are so so close now to 200,000 subscribers. At the time of recording this video, we're about 1,200 away. We're so close. Make sure you guys hit that sub button down below. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Rapid RTB for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the mid. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel, turn the notification bell on, and comment down below, Nota Gang. But let's go over Tom Brady. By the way, there might be another video that I just posted, probably like two hours ago, uh, going over whatever reveals EA tweeted out. If they went over like NFL Honors cards, I don't know, or if they went over just team standouts. But I expect them to go over standouts at least, so check it out. But we do have 99 Tom Brady. By the way, mine is powered up so keep that in mind when you look at the stats here my card is powered up he has 70 speed he's got 99 throw power 99 short also has 99 medium a weird thing about this brady card his power up gives plus two speed super weird never seen that before uh 97 deep 98 throw under pressure 95 throw on the run 99 play action obviously the speed and excel blazing fast okay 70 speed 76 excel uh he does have a 80 carrying which is solid and i mean his throwing stats are just out of this world. 99 throw power, short, medium, and 97 deep. Now, cool little added fact about this card. He gets five ability slots. If it was Madden 20, it'd be cooler because you'd be able to use five ability slots. But in Madden 21, where every single ability actually does cost AP here, it's just kind of cool to see. It's not really anything bonus. Like, if you use all five ability slots, you're all your AP is gone, right? So definitely not worth it. Omaha, though, for his X Factor shows defensive coverage on DBs. Also, of course, Howard Master, Gunslinger, had to go with those. Um, in case you guys are curious about his other abilities, uh, we sort by tier five here. So you can see, like, whatever you could potentially get here. He does also have Protected on there, which I actually... Protected isn't too bad. Does he get it in his tier three though? He does. So maybe you want to use protected here and you'll have like stronger pass blocking from all your linemen instead of using like two edge protectors. Then you get like better offensive uh, tackle protection, also guards and center. So I might mess around with that actually. So that's actually uh, pretty interesting. Might try that out a little bit later. He also does have a conductor. So if these guys like to run conductor, so those are the abilities that Brady does get, but let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. Looking to take your game in Madden 21 to another level? Make sure to check out HotRoute.Tips. Get access to eBooks, tips, and schemes from Madden Pros. Use code ZERK for 10% off. Let's dominate Weekend League. So that is my opponent's top three. Russell Wilson, Tyreek, and Troy Vincent. And my top three. That Tom Brady. That looks nice. Oh, we got a fumble on the kickoff, and of course he recovers. So, of course, we get a fumble on the kickoff, and my opponent recovers as this is going to be a run-heavy game. I can already tell my opponent is probably going to run the ball a lot. I, I can just tell by uh, that formation he came out there on first down. But second down here, he switched it up. He's going to go to the pass game. little motion here. Watching out underneath, and Barry Sanders once again. All right, so I definitely have to watch out for Barry, but I'm kind of expecting a run play here and it is a run did he get it i think he got the first and sadly for me he did get the first down there once again going back to the run game that was an rpo but he handed it off all right second and 11 and he might try to go underneath here not gonna be open darren waller though he's open but it really looks like my opponent loves to throw to the flats here so i'm gonna watch out for that and that wasn't picked Oh, we're going to have B open first play. D Stephon Diggs down to the 10. So we did end up stopping my opponent. And then you guys saw, you know, Stephon Diggs getting wide open. Now, I really, really want to try to go deep with Tom Brady this game. Because the number one thing for me, like my issue with Gannon is that, oh my, Stephon. My number one issue really with Gannon is like his like throw animation, chucking the ball deep. It is so, so bad. So second and goal, he's just standing there with Sam Mills. 
What is he doing? We already got a TD there. I'm not really sure what he was doing on defense. He just like, he was using Sam Mills, but for some reason he didn't move at all. And if he's just gonna run press man coverage, that is not going to work versus my team, especially with Stefan Diggs, with all of the routes that he has, all the route running that he has, and then also route technician, it's just not gonna work. So start of the second quarter, is he gonna try to go deep on me here? And looks like, no, once again, this dude is just like routinely going to the flats. My opponent is extremely consistent. He just does nothing but run the ball, run RPOs a couple times, and then throw to the flats. So as long as I'm guarding the flats here and I still have my quarterback spice it up, I really feel like we'll be pretty good as Waller is covered and Rod Woodson couldn't get over there in time. I saw Rod Woodson over there and I saw Diggs and I just knew yeah, probably wasn't gonna work out too well. Limited warning is approaching though, so let's see if he switches it up a little bit here. He's gonna have to try to move down the field a little bit quicker, but I mean, he does have his timeouts. Maybe he won't, but we get some pressure, and Isaiah Simmons, I thought, was gonna have a SWAT. So two minute warning just hit. He still does have three timeouts, so he doesn't really have to change up his play style that much, but he is coming out now in five wide after motioning over Barry. And he's rerouting Darren Waller up the field. Dion, thank you for the tackle. So since he is down to the four now, I'm going to switch it up a little bit with the defense because I very much so expected that. Barry took a massive hit on first down and unfortunately for me did not fumble. Third and goal, I have QB contain set up and a spy. I just don't want Russell Wilson scrambling at all, really. I'm watching out for that in case he tries to throw anything and we get a sack with TJ and LT. So we only have 44 seconds to try to get down the field here but I still have three timeouts and also I got some pretty good receivers I'm gonna try to throw a deep here if Diggs gets open oh oh Barry Sanders wide open down the sideline oh my god that was such a big play I saw Barry just way way too late there but I'm actually gonna go back to the same exact play however I now we've got Tyreek Hill over here and I'm gonna put Tyreek Hill now on that streak because he's a little bit faster and I think we might be able to get him the outside Tyreek with the catch that was honestly such a risky throw like I I didn't even know if it was gonna be caught or intercepted there but that really just goes to show you Brady's throw power right there that was beautiful and with only 10 seconds left now we basically have to take a shot at the end zone or just get rid of it i'm going to slide down with brady here we got one last play with only four seconds left this basically has to be a shot at the end zone or yeah or or nothing basically it has to be a shot at the end zone i'm gonna try it darren waller that is a dime that was an absolutely beautiful throw there from brady and so now really we have two Really, really good throws. We have the deep ball to Tyreek, which is crazy. And then also that throw to the end zone. Another beautiful, beautiful pass there as Darren Waller is so wide open there. I don't know who he had on Darren Waller, but that was not gonna work out. I'm actually going to run the ball here because my opponent definitely doesn't expect it. Still, didn't pick up much. Third down and eight coming up. I am looking to go to Tyreek Hill here. Hopefully he gets open and he should be oh no what what was that Tyreek still picking up the first down threw that ball and Tyreek like turned back instead of just going towards the sideline there so he turned back to, towards the ball and I thought that was going to be terrible but what a play there already down to his 25 yard line now and his user Steve Atwater just fell over oh my little stop and go stop and go on him with Deion Sanders yeah I don't know what happened to his user there but Steve Atwater literally fell over in the middle of the field so that was pretty weird. I, I might take off. Tom Brady with the scramble. Tom Brady down to the one. So we're down at the one yard line with a 99 overall Tom Brady. Do you think I'm not going to QB sneak it with the quarterback sneak goat and we didn't get in? Guess what? I'm running hurry up. We're doing the same exact thing. Tom Brady, let me flip it. I'm going to flip it to the left side and we didn't get in. One more time. If I don't get in on this play here, I'm going to be massively disappointed. Brady, Brady for the touchdown. And with that, my opponent is about to rage quit. Tom Brady, that was fire. Tom Brady went off. So that was the Tom Brady gameplay. Let me know down below what you guys think about it. This card definitely impressed me. If you guys have him as NAT, I would use him. I mean, you got a field general 99 overall QB with these throwing stats. It's just absolutely insane. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.